In the 18th century, Shiraz was the capital of Persia for nearly 50 years. But Shiraz has always been one of the most important cities in Iran for millenniums. Shiraz has history, art, commerce, and literature written all over it. Some of the most renowned poets that exalted Farsi literature were from Shiraz. This feature passes you through the Quran gates that are the entrance to Shiraz. In the old days, people that wanted to visit the city of Shiraz would go through this gate. It's called the Quran Gate. But nowadays, with the volume of cars, only people pass. Join me as I visit the city of Shiraz. This is the first thing you'll notice as you enter the city from the north. It's called the Quran Gate, as two old copies of Islam's holy book was kept here in the past. Just at the entrance of the city also lies the statue of Haju Kermani, a poet and mystic from the 14th century. His poems are mostly about spirituality. His works are believed to have influenced another Iranian poet called Hafez, which we'll get to later in this program. Haju Kermani traveled to many lands during his time, but that stopped when he came to Shiraz. The city of Shiraz is known for its poets and poetry. Many renowned Iranian poets lived here. Haju Kermani, when he visited the city of Shiraz, he never left. This is likely because the rulers of this land valued arts. The Arg of Karim Khan is a citadel built during the 18th century as the living headquarters of Karim Khan Azan himself. Later it was a prison and now it's a museum which we can enter. Karim Khan Azan founded the Zan dynasty and declared Shiraz his capital. And thus many buildings were erected in this city during his rule. The architecture of the citadel combines military and residential architecture, as was the home of Karim Khan Azan and also the head of his military headquarters. But Karim Khan was different from other rulers of the time. When he came to power, he refused to be called king. He accepted the title, the advocate of the people, that is Vakil in Persian. Many structures built during his time carry Vakil in their name. Stained glass goes hand in hand with Iranian architecture. From homes to palaces, most windows were decorated this way. But it wasn't just for beauty. The interesting thing about these tinted glasses, it's first suiting for the environment and for the eyes, and also it keeps the insects away, they say. I don't see any insects here, do you? Next stop is the Vakil bathhouse, a place where people from all walks of life would chit chat and also bathe. At the entry, every part of the society had their own section, and many of the people's problems were resolved just here. It was like the cities or the town's informal council. And about the building itself, pictures do the talking. This is a bathhouse, and even in this building, which is a bathhouse, there's lots of detail put in the architecture. So this shows you how much Iranians valued every single building, even a bathhouse. Let's go and check out the rest. Walking through this bath, I saw wall after wall of detail put in the making. And it's quite big for a place to bathe. But this also shows this place was more like a hangout or a place they would spend hours in. Not just a quick shower like we do today. And may I remind you, they didn't shower every day in the old days. This place was way more than a bathhouse. Like for example here you can see one person's having a scrub, the other's having a massage. And of course, one of them is bathing. And on the other side, when we look at it here, 
There's one person getting a haircut, a shave, and that guy there got his tooth pulled out. The Vakil Mosque is another landmark of Shiraz. The 48 columns in its prayer hall, carved in spirals, are one of its outstanding features. Next is Bazar Vakil, a big market still in use today to find everything from Shiraz and beyond. From spices and herbs to sweets and confectionery, and many, many more, this is the place to visit. You can find every kind of souvenir here, many cool things you can buy, and every quarter has its own goods. One unique part in this bazaar is where several hallways meet. Okay, many of Iran's bazaar you can say are similar in shape. But the difference for the bazaar in Shiraz is this little part here is called the Saray Moshi, where you can get your hands on many little things like little antiques, little jewelry, or little souvenirs where you can take home. Talking about cool things, there was also an antique shop that topped my list. The Vakil Bazaar is one of the longest stretching and most famous bazaars in Iran. It is located in the center of Shiraz and is amongst Iran's national heritage sites. Saadi, another one of the renowned poets of this land. He was born in Shiraz. He spent more than two decades traveling outside of Persia following the Mongol invasion. His works reflect upon the lives of ordinary people suffering displacement, agony, and conflict. His best-known works, Bustan, meaning the orchard, and Golestan, the rose garden, consist of stories illustrating the standard virtues recommended to Muslims, being justice, kindness, modesty, and gratification. Saadi is one of the most famous Iranian poets of all time. His poetry is seen all over the world, not just in Iran. One of the verses that is seen in the UN building in New York is, all men and women are to each other the limbs of a single body, each of us drawn from life's shimmering essence, God's perfect pearl. And when this life we share wounds one of us, all share the hurt as if it were our own. You who will not feel another's pain, you forfeit the right to be called human. This was just one. And talking about flowers and gardens, the city of Shiraz is also famous for its Persian gardens. And in spring, the scent of flowers fills the sky in this city. The whole city is like a big flower shop. And last but not least is Persian poet Hafez. He was a spiritual poet and mystic known by his pen name Hafez. It means a person that knows the Quran by heart. It is believed that he also knew the works of Saadi, Rumi, and several other poets by heart too. His mausoleum located in a garden is where people gather to recite his poems, relax, and enjoy the environment. It's a popular hangout for artists in Shiraz. <laughs> Hafiz, one of the most prominent Iranian poets of all time. While well, he passed away several centuries ago, still you can find his poems in the homes of Iranians today. So this shows you how important he was in Persian literature. Some regard him as the pinnacle 
of Persian literature. And a goodbye from Shiraz. I'm Pedro Khaledari for the Iran program.